Good morning. Thanks for joining us. It's Tuesday, 6 o'clock. You can tell things are getting back to normal because um, more traffic on the road. You're looking like that, like, oh, we're not matching with our colors. I, <laughs> I can tell that done, look I, in your eyes. I hadn't seen them together. Um, they yeah, don't work. Maybe they don't work. <laughs> so who's okay. going to change? <laughs> I was here. Oh, no, you were here first. I know, but I have oh. nothing else to change into. I don't so, either. Okay, so okay. you're, you're going to have to deal with it because that's like, I think we match, and I'm like, I don't know. Oh, no, let's, we don't. let's wait until no, we see we it. We don't. <laughs> it really clashes. This so is just the way it is. Yeah. That's that's all you can do. Sometimes you should call each other and say what you're going to wear. One of, <laughs> that's, that's, tomorrow. That's, that's one, one of Let's those that. days. Oh, hello. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. How are Hi. we? Good morning, Any, morning, anybody morning. else almost spill out the back door when they walked outside? Was it slippery for you guys? No. 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 Oh, it was. Re it was. Re I, and, and I had even some um, some ice on the windshields. Yeah. So mm. it was oh, some really? little freezing yeah. drizzle. Yeah. See, yeah. Halt, Halt and Peel, Toronto had a freezing drizzle advisory yeah. uh, overnight, mm. and Waterloo, Wellington counties as well, but they have been dropped, so okay. it's pretty much come to an end. But you got some, obviously. <laughs> well, it's, one of those, like, it's almost one of those cartoon spills where you're just like, Whoa! 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 <laughs> like one of those twirls. <laughs> it was like, eh, uh, mm -hmm. stuck the landing. So just be careful, I guess. And, yeah. Yeah. and Emily hi. joined us for Chit Chat. We were just admiring our new yes. plants. Yes, hi, hi, friend. Hi. Hi, hi new plants. Yeah. Oh, hello. Oh. It's very nice. Hello. And, and, Annette, you had a name for it? Erwin. Okay. I don't know. It just came to me. It's amazing what little things amuse us. Erwin. Erwin the plant. Welcome, Erwin. I feel bad because we didn't we didn't name the other plant. I know. Where did the other plant go? Maybe that's why it went. Yeah. Well, right? so you're not going to name me. I'm out. Yeah. yeah. See ya. Uh, okay, Elon Musk again. Uh, <laughs> if you ever feel like 280 characters isn't enough for you, your luck. Elon Musk has tweeted that long form tweets will be available starting in February. But I like Twitter because it is so short yeah. that I can quickly see something and then if I want more information on it, I can click on that. I'm just right? used I'm used yeah. to it now. Well, like it's I'm, just the scrolling. Like people are gonna be writing like long form essays. Because I don't if, like if, it. If you do want to do a long form essay, you can do that and then you just continue it through threads. Threads, right. yeah. yeah, right? Yeah. But like I don't Which are yeah. easier for me, like it's just easier to comprehend if it's just like a well, yeah. sentence or two kind of thing and you scroll through, it's well, like okay. Instead of like if it's all written on like one big dump right that's hard to read yeah I agree and it's like it's quick fa quick fast information yeah. I don't know if it's because of the industry that we're in we like our information mm -hmm. quick dirty fast give it to me mm -hmm. right yeah. but I don't know about the regular population and how they think oh well, no I, I want to hear what this person says because sometimes the threads are hard to follow right because you're like mm -hmm. oh is that two of six two of nine where's the two of 12 two of 14 you know you don't it's difficult they, well they have to create something new like with Instagram let's say the Instagram stories you can be like Passing them quickly. Well, if you're that's not kind of what they're trying to do. They're trying to do is just like getting yeah. through stuff yeah. quicker to yeah. like see something that you want. But that yeah. also like uh, our focus doesn't really help there because no. we, it just kind of like we're yeah. always moving past stuff. It yeah. makes us more ADHD in general. No. <laughs> So let's move to the next story. All right. Several big <laughs> Canadian names are competing at tonight's Golden Globes as the film and awards show attempts a comeback after the year off the air. It's interesting it's on Tuesday. It's weird. And not on a Friday? It's normally on Sunday. Yeah, it's always, it's always Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. But I yeah, think maybe right. something to do with competing against the NFL. Yeah. I think they uh, want it on a night when there's nothing else going on. So it has so kind they're of the night. So really trying to get people to watch so, it. Yeah. Now, coming up, I'm just going to tease this, but who's going to actually attend the Golden Globes? That's coming up next hour. We know Brendan okay. Frazier isn't. We right? sure do. Yeah, he fine. is not. Spoiler. Ah! Right? <laughs> Why don't you just steal my story, Tim? Ah! <laughs> 7 o'clock on a Tuesday morning. Thanks for joining us today. Don't adjust your sets. We are clashing today. Yeah, and we apologize <laughs> for that. We're not changing because we got nothing else to change into, but sometimes we need to call each other before the show. All right, let's bring, Noted for uh, tomorrow. Yeah, let's bring uh, Emily and uh, Brian in. How are you feeling, guys? Good, thank you. Great. It's Every, yep. Tuesday. Kids are back to school. I'm yes. happy. How was the first day for you, Emily? Uh, I don't know about your kids, but did they get like an after-school hangover? Um... They were just beat, you mean? Yeah, like they were grumpy oh, and like Oh, okay, tired. that's what you mean, yeah. <laughs> and like, oh, I need dear. a snack, yeah. and I don't want this snack, I want a better snack. Like, I made Hunter a bagel yesterday with butter on it, and first there was not enough butter, then there was too much butter, <laughs> then he wanted a complete new one altogether, and that one was too buttery. So I was like, dude, you just got to make your own bagel, like I can't. 
They got I into, like, ours got into the holiday routine quickly, and then they had to get out of that holiday routine, so get back into homework and things yeah. like that. Was, oh. that's, uh, that's a tough one to, to, mm -hmm. kind of, to, to kind of work through, and I know parents uh, everywhere were kind of dealing with that yesterday. Is, yeah, back at it and back to work, and uh, how are we looking on the roads, Brian? A lot more traffic on the yeah. roads. Yeah, always or ever. You can really tell we're getting back to more normal conditions. Welcome to the Creative Workshop. I'm joined by John. John, you do lots of stuff here. We do, we do. You've named three of them so far, but I think there's probably a little bit more. There are give, a few us, more. give us the top three. Well, the top three of the things that we do here is we sell DUI, uh, DUI product. Okay. So if you want to come and make your own shakuri board table, we can provide the epoxy, the molds, the wood, the okay. legs, virtually everything. Cool. We also teach classes if you'd like to learn how to do it all. Hmm. Uh, and lastly, we do custom work for people that uh, don't have time to take class, don't, don't want to do something. Uh, we make charcuterie boards, tables. I don't want to do it myself. Just make it good for me, right? Right, exactly. <laughs> now, if you were to take a class, how long does it take? Like, is it a four-week program, a six-week no, program? We, we have uh, a one-day class where okay. you will do a, um, a basic charcuterie board. Okay. So you learn how to sand it, finish it. We'll engrave it if you want it customized. There's a two-day option that we include um, epoxy. Okay. So you, you and I will do one later okay. where we're going to make a board out of epoxy. Cool. So that's two days because the first day you've got to get it all done, mm -hmm. and then we got to stay and wait and let it harden. All right, I guess. There's that time. And then you come back and you finish it. Now, it's not only charcuterie boards that I'm looking at here, but what would you nope. say are your most kind of popular items that people either want to make or that people want to buy? Uh, our sports signs are quite popular. They're super cool. Yeah, they're laser engraved and then or laser cut and then painted. Okay. Um, the tables are quite popular because yeah. we can make a table. They're gorgeous. Almost out of anything, any look you want. Um, so they're quite popular. Now, do people when they say, "Okay, I want a table," do they get to go and kind of pick their piece of wood from that big stack that you have at the back that oh, you'll see later, and they can kind of pick their tabletop or whatever they want, and then say, "This is the table that I want," because you can really customize the size that you need, whether it be oh. a side table or mm -hmm. a coffee table. They can pick all oh, virtually everything, the species of the wood. I mean, we have some beautiful olive wood. Wow. That's hard to come by, but it's gorgeous. Um, yeah. You can see a table in the back uh, later. Wow. Um, we have obviously a big supply of black walnut. It's mm -hmm. local. It's, you know. Well, it's, uh, it's gorgeous in here. And I can imagine you want to get people to come to you. You've got an Instagram page. We do. We have a home page. Uh, my granddaughter, my niece, my daughter, and my uh -huh. sister are helping me with all the social media. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Because, you know, when I, and when I was younger, I was very good at technology. Yeah. <laughs> As I got older, I seem to have gotten stupider. Well, it's not that. It's just, you know, it's that learning curve, right? Yeah. All of us have yeah. to do it at one point or another. Okay, we're going to be coming back on Morning Live. We'll talk a little bit more about the tables. We'll talk a little bit more about the boards. And we'll actually try and make one. I'm going to try, John. I'm going to try my best. Oh, I think guidance. you'll do just fine. <laughs> All of that and more coming up on Morning Live. And so, Emily joins us. Yeah, I remember when, like, the Golden Globes, they were never big, as big as the Oscars. No. They were never big, but they were the they first were one. They were yeah. they were huge because it kind of set up what might happen mm -hmm. at the Oscars. And they were always it's kind of the, the fun one because people would be, you know, eating and drinking during yeah. the ceremony. Yeah. Things would get said, stuff would get done, <laughs> and now we look at the history of, like, uh, what kind was. Kind of why it was kind yeah. of like that. Ooh. And they're back. Yes. They are back after a taking a year off. Uh, there are celebrities talking about it, and Michelle Williams believes that the Hollywood Foreign Press Association is making an effort to improve, so she will attend tonight's Golden Globe Awards. No? no I was like, I was no, like, I didn't watch it. No. Now, Fablemans, I just said, I said this yesterday, I saw yeah. it on Friday night. It is really, really good. So good. She is fabulous in it. Yeah, um, she's great. She's, 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 she's a wonderful so actor. Doesn't, doesn't do that much, but when she does, no. she picks the roles that benefit, or that she's really, really great mm -hmm. at, mm -hmm. and in it, like, it never it's like kind of the story of Steven Spielberg's yes. life and like his family life because there's been a lot of turbulence yeah, in his sure. family. Absolutely, and, and we don't plays, necessarily and recognize that. We just think no. of him and he as a plays, star. He plays his mom, so yeah. she's really, really good at it. All right, well, a woman says American Horror Story is responsible for her husband catching COVID-19 and dying.
stuff like this. I out. guarantee yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. They were super, su well, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I was never on set, but you always saw that they were always trying to make sure that or they, they had were to following. Pause filming or they were in their yes. own bubble Wasn't or they were in their own, like the Oscars with didn't With your happen. boyfriend, Tom Cruise. And Remember he had like a yelling match uh, uh, on oh, Mission, right. on that's Mission that's Impossible? Right, because somebody didn't have their mask on. And, and like, he flipped out. Because yeah. he's a producer mm -hmm. on it. So it like comes mm -hmm. back on him mm -hmm. if somebody gets yes. COVID and they have to shut the whole production mm -hmm. down. Yeah. Like there was all that expense. Uh, all the expense well, that's just what we heard that. though, right? I mean, there's, there's certain movies and there's certain movies. So if this comes out to be true and she wins the lawsuit, then... Mm -hmm. That's it, right? Uh, now, this is great. Uh, have you ever been in a situation where you think you've been there before? It's the 30th anniversary of Groundhog Day. <laughs> Weatherman. Uh, and, you know, being a weather presenter, and Tim, you may have known yeah. this as well, like it's the common joke of, oh, who's going to go cover Puxatawney Phil yeah. or, you know, Wireton Willie or, yeah. you right. know. <laughs> you know you're old when, when Groundhog Day is 30 yep. years old. Yep. Yep. Okay, uh, coming up after 8 o'clock, our monthly updates with local mayors around the region is back in Niagara Falls. Jim D.O. Daddy going to be here on the couch. Mm -hmm. We hear uh, talking about his city. We'll also have tips on how to get yourself organized with things you might already have in your house. Okay, before we get to our best wishes, a very special birthday shout out to our technical director, Mike Corsten. Oh, happy, yes, birthday. happy birthday, Mike. Who's off today? There's. Stone Church Road East is where you find the creative workshop. John, what am I going to make here? What are you trusting me to make here? We're going to make a <laughs> charcuterie board in the shape of a wine bottle. Very bougie. I like yes, it. Yes, yes. Okay, what do I do first? Okay, so first we've already mixed up the epoxy. Yep. Uh, we're going to use Olagan's Art Resin. Okay. So it's a one-to-one -one mix. Okay. So equal parts of uh, both the hardener and the resin. Okay. Mix it for about three minutes. Okay. Now we're going to add some color. Okay. Work your way up because it's a lot easier to add more color than it is it's to take a, it's it away. It's impossible to Got take it. it away. Okay. So if we take just a little scoop like that. Okay. And then if you want to mix it. Oh boy, you're trusting me I'll with this. I'll hold this, yeah. Okay. Ooh. Wow, a little goes a long way. Sure does. When it comes with the color, that's for sure. Okay. So like now you're all mixed color. up. Okay. So we'll just put that on the floor since it'll drip for a little bit. Okay. So we take our, our mold. We're going to use a silicone mold by Exotherm in uh, Mississauga. I carry all their uh, lines, and uh, Carlos makes a really good product. And later we'll show the different kinds of molds. Cool. Okay. So first of all, we want to make sure our table and our mold is level. Oh, what a great idea. So if the dot's in the center, yep. it's level. Perfect. Okay. So, no. Oh. Nope. What <laughs> I like ahead to of do, myself. Luke's what? laughing at me. Stop getting ahead of yourself. Well, Emily. what I like to do is I like to put a thin layer in first. Oh, yes. So, so that, that you make smooth. sure that underneath mm -hmm. is, is nicely done. Yeah, okay. So if you want to pour in a little bit of that. How much when you say a well, little just bit? Just keep going. Tell me when. I will. <laughs> okay, that's good. Probably to start. Okay. Fun. And just so that uh, we can speed things along. Okay. Well, we're gonna need more. Oh, see, I, I knew if I had to do that, that would have been just, We just wanna get the bottom Can you like kinda go like this? Sure like you can. This. Okay. A little bit of that, a little bit of that. Yep. Now what are we gonna do with this board once I've made it? You know what? <laughs> have some wine and cheese that's what we're gonna do all right okay what's next so now you're gonna put your wood in okay does it matter how I put it in no nope, but you know you want to look this is gonna be the top of your board the way you're looking yes so, so I want you this want to on see the top. yeah okay so sit cool. that in okay and then I always make a, a little piece of wood making it look like the cork in the bottle oh cute so, so if you want like to stick this? that at the top sure like this yeah. okay oh I love that that's super cute okay Okay. So now, just keeping with our theme, we're going to embed some corks. Oh, fun. One there, one there. Oh, I don't really love that one anymore, but that's okay. Well, you can take it out. Yeah, but then it'll be all, like, sticky, won't it? Yeah, just <laughs> throw it in the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> See, John, he teaches classes here, and you can tell he's a good teacher, by the way. He's helping me learn. Okay. Ooh, sticky. All of them? No, nope. just whatever you think looks right. Mm, you know? I don't like this down here. Okay. I don't like what I'm done. 
Here. Okay, wait. Throw it on there. Okay. No, you know what? I like it. I'm okay. leaving it. All right. So that's our uh, first step. All right, we're gonna get on to step number two uh, in just a few moments, so make sure you stay with us for that because there's still lots more to come. <laughs> Good morning, there's a rule. There's a, it's like a Les Sorry, Nesman desk here. Well, there's, <laughs> if you, if you, if you watch morning. the show, you probably know that Annette is so neat and like, like her papers are always like together. Mine are like that. <laughs> and I'm like, ooh, you're in my space. <laughs> I'm distorting know, I'm taking my, over your, my karma. Taking over your space. <laughs> good morning. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Emily. Good morning, Brian. Good morning, kids. Uh, Hi, play nicely morning, in the sand. Yes. Yes. Come yes. on. Yes. Come yes. on. Come on. Come on. Are you guys neat? You neat and tidy. Neat, neat and tidy. Depends. Are there people Brian coming to is. my house? Brian's very neat and tidy. Well, yes. Yes. <laughs> I've been told that. Straight up. Oh, yes. Are you? Yeah. Are you obsessed with like neatness and like need to be obsessed? He's talked about his closet, how everything's all in. Yeah. <laughs> is it color coordinated? No, it's not color coordinated. But it's date coordinated. Uh, it's uh, you know it, I, I have a, I have a, a sequence that I go through. Yes. I mean, yes. yeah, I do. I start at one side and and I, and everything else slides along and I put it back on the wow. other side and it, it so goes like when, along. When's the next time we're going to see this suit? In a month. Uh, probably two months, couple yeah. months, two and a half. And, and do all your hangers have to face the same way? <laughs> yes, my, they do. Okay, I can't help do it. Too. That's and there are I color know. hangers for like shirts, and there are colored hangers for pants. Yep. Really? Different, okay. different colors. I'm yeah. on Emily's team. Depends yeah. on who's coming over. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's what it's like. Yeah, if somebody's coming over. And when over, they're coming, the stuff gets in drawers and cupboards <laughs> and like bins. Don't open that. And, like, yeah. Okay. Yes. You can't go in there. Don't open. Don't go in there. Right. Yeah, that is my life. Yeah, you stuff things in closets and clean the bathrooms. And you're, totally. you're just like, you look like, you look yes. like you have it together. Right? Totally. Right. I am That's with you. That's all you need. That's yeah. all you need. Much like we do Make it till you make it. Yes, yeah. exactly. <laughs> okay, so I've made the wine board. Well, at least I've done step one. And we're going to show you step two in a moment. But, John, it's not just about wine boards. So you've got lots of different molds that people can choose from here. Like, it's, it's the sky's your limit. Uh, pretty much. Uh, like I said, we carry all our exotherm molds. Mm -hmm. And there's a number of different kinds. Okay. Um, the silicone molds here, uh, they're in different shapes. So here's one out of a guitar. I love that. <laughs> so, you know, if you have a musical fan, you yeah. want to do something special for them. The newest ones are these vacuum uh, pressurized molds. Okay. Form, f vacuum formed, I guess. Okay. Because they have no seams. So how do you get it out if it's like this? There's a slight angle on the sides. Oh, I see. So all okay. you do, because it's flexible, you yeah. pull it a little bit, and you turn it, just... it over, you give it a tap, and out it pops. Oh, okay, because these are really cool. You, you just They're so bendable, and you can oh, yeah. get it out easily, right? Yep. All right, time to move on to step number two. By the way, John has classes here, one-day, two-day classes. He's a great teacher, obviously, because he's letting me do something. He has to be a great teacher. Uh, and this one involves a little bit of flame, which it does. You know, I'm a bit excited about. So what's next? We've poured in the epoxy. It is dried epoxy. It is dried mm -hmm. next. So we've already mixed up uh, our next layer. Okay. Again, we're still using the Olagan Art Resin. Yep. Um, so this is just going to be our clear coat. Okay. Because we're doing, like, we have some things in, like, the corks, we yep. want to be able to see them when we're done. Of course. So you go ahead, just pour that in. Okay. You're going to tell me when, right? You just pour the whole thing in. Whole thing. Okay. You would tell me if I did it wrong, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, not over there. It's almost impossible to do this step wrong. Okay, that's a good Well, <laughs> And now I'm assuming I take this and I kind of make sure that I have it all over the wood. Well, you can. I mean, it will self-level. It will? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. But for the... For our time and everything, you yeah. might as well. For the purposes of television. Yeah, stir it around a bit, get it close to being flat. Okay. This is so easy, and the outcome is so remarkable. It's, it takes no time. Well, I mean, it takes a little bit of time, but that's why you do the two day classes if you want to make something like this, right? A good part of it is waiting time for everything to cure. Yeah. So epoxy is a, a, a chemical reaction. It's an exothermal um, reaction and that's how it cures okay so it puts off a lot of heat oh so in its curing process as you can see we have a bunch of bubbles. oh yes i see that so the bubbles naturally will raise to the top okay um but we want to get rid of them as we go okay uh, it just gives a better finish okay so there are three ways of doing it mm -hmm. you can use a heat gun mm -hmm. which is really just a high pressure uh hair dryer okay you can use an alcohol spray okay or you can use a propane torch 
I propane like the torch, torch it because is. <laughs> it's quick. So simply, you push the button, hold it, uh -huh. and just work your way over the top. Okay. I'm a little scared. Do I need safety goggles? No. Nope. Oh! And as you can see, the bubbles start to disappear. There you go. Just like that. Yeah. And you're going to do that probably three or four times as the bubbles come up. Mm -hmm. um, wood has air in it. The corks have air in it. Yeah. We could have taken the trouble and sealed them all individually, mm -hmm. but that takes a lot of time. Okay. And this works just as well. Okay. Well, coming up, we're going to show you the finished product and we're going to take it out of the molds and uh, show off my skills. Okay, what you got for us, Emily? Well, Adam Lambert, who we've just discussed, now you know who he is. Queen. Queen. Lee Seeger. Lee won Singer. the reality show. I don't know if he won. Mm, did, did he, he win? win? Or... Was he, what did he, was he? He was a contestant on a reality show, one of those America's Got Talent or... Um, was it the, American Idol? In Excess. That's oh. what it is. He won the NXS one, and now he's the lead singer for Queen. One, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Uh, he released a new single yesterday. It is called Holding Out for a Hero. If that title sounds familiar, it is, because it's the cover of 1980s Bonnie Tyler hit of the same name. Really? I'm not, like... It's a, it's a cool song. I, it was yeah. my anthem. Like, I loved that song. All four years of university. Loved it. Blaring it, right? Loved it. Um, what did you... You're a big Queen mm -hmm. lover. Did you like when he took over for Fred? Like, nobody's Freddy. But yeah, like I actually thought that Mika, who's a European singer, I thought he could have done a better job because of reaching the notes that Freddie Mercury mm. had. So hard, but so but Adam hard. Lambert is very good. Yeah, he is very good, too. Very, very yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the movie. Um, Bohemian Rhapsody? Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, not that one. No? No. The documentary, there's a documentary on Netflix of Adam Lambert and oh, okay. him taking over for Queen. It's phenomenal. Oh, okay. You have to watch it. It's so good. Um, then, speaking of which, uh, the Netflix hit You released another trailer for its upcoming season four. And this time, the table seemed turned on protagonist Joe Goldberg, who is usually doing the stalking. It's, I watched uh, one episode or two episodes of season one, and I couldn't do it because it was just too creepy. Like, it just gave me the, ooh. Yeah. It's about so this guy who, yeah, <laughs> who mm. falls in love with these women, and instead of, you know, normally asking them out on dates, he stalks them until mm. they're kind of forced to fall it's for him. It's another way to go, I guess? It's so creepy. <laughs> so you don't <laughs> like it? No. Oh, you didn't like it? No, uh, I didn't like okay. it. I couldn't watch it. I right. got through the first two episodes, and I was like, no, it's giving me too many chills and creepy vibes. I just didn't like it. That's what's great about Netflix. You're like, next. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Next I'm Flix. Yes. Yeah, right. Ah, see what I did there? Yeah, I know. Oh. All right, we're heading back to the creative workshop where I came up with some really crafty stuff and we even got a gift. I know. It's nice. Pretty cool. Here it is, the finished product for the magic of television. We have let it set. And now, John, I'm just taking it out of the mold. Am I doing it correctly? Yep. Oh, this is so cool. Well, you're a good teacher. Well, see, the, get, you see how your back is nice and clean? Yes. It'll take less work. That's why we pour a little bit in first. Oh, right, okay. It just saves some work. So now we'll take this board. Okay. And oh, it's not done yet, is it? No. We take it through <laughs> the machines and we got to sand it down. Oh, yeah, so the edges are Yeah, rough. they're sharp. And uh, when we buff it and polish it, the clear will come back out. And you'll be able to see your... Uh, my work? Your corks, yeah. So nice, I love it. And when you're done. Ta-da! Oh, that's, okay, so this is my final product. That's your Never final mind, product. Never mind, don't look at that one. <laughs> look what I made. Wow, I'm a really, really good craftsman. It's gorgeous. Yeah. It's beautiful. And you can put your wine here and your cheeses and your crackers and your chips and your olives and everything that you want to serve. And then it's got a fancy little thing that you can hook it on the wall. That's right. All right, what are we going to do with this board? Well. We're going to uh, raffle it off. Ooh, that's exciting. So if you go to uh, the creativeworkshop.ca. Okay, your website. Go, yeah, our website, and go to request a quote. Mm -hmm. Just fill it out, and in the description, just write Emily's board. Ooh. And uh, we'll do this till next Friday. So or this Friday, sorry. We'll do it till Friday. Yep. And then uh, we'll pick a winner, and they get the board you made. That's awesome. I'm like signaling all my family and friends, get on there, bid for my board. <laughs> That is super cool. That's fun. And I as love a, it. thank you for coming up and uh -huh. showing. <gasps> I've made this for the morning live group. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. We can totally put it in our kitchen. 
Oh, yeah. that is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so, so you much. So uh, you can come up and you can actually learn how to make this board. That is so or fun. Or something with your own graphic in it. Yeah, I will for sure. Thanks, John, for having us. Okay. We've had a great time today. We've great. learned a lot. And don't forget, just go to the website, Creative Workshop. Thecreativeworkshop.ca. And bid for my board. And we're on Instagram, all the socials. Of course. And it's always The Creative Workshop. Okay, thecreativeworkshop.ca.